Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon 2, Ripto's Rage. Um, last time we played Ski Lost Badlands over here, it was pretty good. I liked it, good level. Uh, this time we're gonna play Breeze Harbor. Uh, hopefully this will be a relatively quick video. I'm expecting it to be, that's why I've chosen to play this. I really should be playing Ace Attorney next, but those videos take a long time because it's a big game. Um, here these levels are generally pretty short, so we should be okay. Interesting that they didn't spell harbour with a U. Like, I am Australian, and we should have, you know, the Australian localization of the game. And in British English, Australian English, we spell harbour B-O-U-R. So it's interesting that they're using the American spelling, uh, B-O-R like that. Even though, you know, I'm not American. Um... I don't know if they, like, have separate English localizations for different regions or not, really. <sighs> this looks very strange. Is the- is the bird the- the- the hero? Like, the- the friend we're helping out? Or what's going on here? <laughs> um... Okay, these guys seem bad, so let's take it out. <laughs> uh, got some wood over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah, their buckets are fireproof, that's what I thought. Because it looks like they're made of metal. Again, that doesn't really make sense, because if you heat up a metal bucket by breathing fire on it, you'd think the guy inside the bucket would get hurt a little bit, but apparently that's not what happens. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. You, you set the fire over here, which heats up this big pot here, which activates that whirlwind. That's, that is neat. Oh, that's really cool. Probably should go talk to that guy right in front of the entrance. Please excuse the mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First oh no. The fires in our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship too. Oh no! If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machinery. Thank you. I mean, I've already figured that out on my own, but, you know, it's it's cool to talk to you and have it confirmed that I'm supposed to do what I'm doing. That is a really neat mechanic, actually. I, I like it a lot. Activates a little whirlwind here. What the heck is that thing? It's a face. Is it an evil face? I'm guessing probably because it seems to be glaring at me with those eyebrows. Are you a villain too? Yes. <laughs> I'm guessing I have to hit the faces with these cannons in order to get them because otherwise they're gonna just hit me, right? Oh, I can aim vertically. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the spiky faces are a separate quest of some kind. Probably I get an orb or something for getting all of them. <laughs> hey, Zoe. I wonder if I can swim in this level. I'm guessing I don't need to. Oh, maybe I can. Hang on. Yeah, I can. Actually, there's stuff underwater. So yeah, I definitely need to. <laughs> hmm. Are these guys the land blobbers in the buckets, or are the big guys with the stuff on the- with the backpacks the land blobbers? Oh, oh no! Okay, I can't swim in that water, because you fall down. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you breeze harbour, because it's a harbour, and you're activating these little whirlwind machines using the furnaces. It's, it's clever. It's a clever title. 
I like it. Um, anyway, we're back. There we go. Because uh, I keep going this way. So there's a whole lot more underwater to get. I was actually quite high up. You have to use the launch from the dive to get up there. Or at least I think you do. You know what I did a moment ago? Hang on. Hmm. I'm in some trouble here. How did I get up there before? <laughs> okay, let's see if you can just glide from over here. That might be easier if I can figure out how to do the other thing. Oh, okay, the fire makes the water go up. That, that makes sense. Alright. I wonder if that cannon can, can reach the guy on the other side of this thing. So I know there's a guy over there. If I can hit him, that'd be really helpful. I, mean, I kind of suspect I can't hit him, but we'll see. No, I can. Okay, cool. Uh, can I jump on the front part of the cannon to get against the stuff high? No. So I'll come back there later, probably. Okay, so the water actually goes up, and so it's much easier to get out of it at the right height. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> okay, that's uh, molten lava for some reason, so I won't go that way. I'll go this way. Thing gonna move or guess not. Maybe it'll move once I start that fire. <laughs> um, okay, I think I've gotten all the spiky dudes out of there, so that's that. I'm guessing this iron, this, well, this guy wants me to get rid of them all. These metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, okay, but I already got the ones that are here, so I'll need to go find the other ones. Gem, gem, gem. Okay, so that propeller should make this work, right? Oh, 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 it might make it work without me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um, they're not high up enough to get to there, so I guess I'll keep going this way. Very trial and error aiming these vertically. The first game had a few of these, so it's I guess it's not too new, this particular mechanic, but they're much more convenient to aim in this game, which is good because the things you're shooting at keep moving around. Whereas they mostly stayed put in the first game. Yeah. You're welcome. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. Gross. <laughs> we got an arm. Da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me ride this back over there again. And we can keep going this way. Oh, extra life. Extra life butterfly. I think that's much better than the statues from the first game. The little extra life butterflies. It's, it's just a lot more fitting to the way the game works. Since, you know, Sparks eats butterflies and eating an extra special butterfly gets you a better result. It just, it just fits. We haven't quite got enough enemies yet to activate the power up, so we'll just keep wiping them out. Is that 
Oh my god, it's a big catapult. I'm gonna activate that with the flippy thing over there. Oh wow. That's really cool, the flippy thing over there, the furnace. This thing is the flippy thing. We're gonna get trebucheted. Get ready, y'all. I mean, it's not really a trebuchet. Because it's just one big arm um, thing. A trebuchet, you've gotta have like a... An extra, like, rope piece between them to give you more, um... Swinging room, but... Still cool. Oh, another life. Why well, bet your lives in such close proximity? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Where do you think you're going? Come back here. This reminds me of something. <laughs> From the first game, there we go. I assume I light both these fires and something cool will happen. Yep, something cool is happening. The boat is, is going up. Oh, now I can reach this platform, I see. Thanks for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now You're welcome. We can with our counter attack on Zephyr. Please take this um, wait, what? What? Did, did I just support the military industrial complex? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the power up just a big jumpy thing to get me up here. Oh dear. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, we're moving. Um. Uh, okay. Um. All right. This is a thing. Uh, okay. The trolley looks like a hassle. Um, but I guess I gotta go on it. I wanted to get some stuff. Oh, it actually forces you to jump on it. That's a bit weird. Ah, oh, dang it. This is hard. <laughs> The controls are a bit, uh, persnickety, I think is a good word. I mean, I generally think persnickety is a good word, it sounds awesome, but I think it's also an accurate word in this case. Ah, TNT barrel! Oh, what? I couldn't jump over it? That's just rude. <sighs> Can I shoot the TNT to blow it up before it, I run into it? Is that a thing? Or will that kill me? I'm not sure. Ugh. I'm dodging too early. I'm expecting it to like have a bit of a delay, but it doesn't. Like I'm playing, you know, like a Mario Kart or something where you actually have to steer sort of real time, not real time, you know what I mean, like, steering has a bit of a delay to it because it's a real vehicle turning rather than a minecart shunting to the other track. Okay, you can't shoot it either. Well, I don't understand this. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's head out again, see what I can figure out. 
At least it doesn't take up, have any delay when you want to retry. Like, it instantly goes back in. So that's something. Hmm. Yes, I'm having trouble with the trolley. How am I supposed to work this dang thing? Yeah, it won't let me change lanes there. And I can't jump over that either. Um, hmm. I think all these little mini games are really weakening the overall experience. <laughs> Some of them are okay, but uh, others are not so much. Okay, I can jump over it there, but not not always. Maybe it depends on if it's a TNT or not, and if it is one, maybe I can shoot it, but I haven't been able to. Okay. Hmm. I'm still confused. Maybe I can shoot the... Oh, dang it. I could at least remember the gears I've grabbed if I hit something instead of resetting the whole puzzle. But it's, it's not doing that. Okay, okay, so you can switch over there. Alright. Okay, and you can shoot those TNT barrels to get rid of them. Oh, you can't, you can't do that, though. You shut up. I don't like you. This is not well designed. It should have, like, a health bar or something, rather than resetting as soon as you make a single mistake at all. Hmm... I can see you switch tracks after you're obviously on the wrong track, so I don't think they positioned that quite the way they should have done for it to make you know, sense. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> it's just, oh my goodness. Very scary. <laughs> Yeah, again, I don't I don't like these mini games nearly as much as the base, you know, Spyro running around and grabbing treasure game. And I just I, I don't think they add very much. And they're very frustrating and typically have a low tolerance for mistakes being made. It's like that flying one where you have to do it all absolutely perfectly, and if you met, miss one, then you've got to basically go around and start all over again, and it just takes forever. <sighs> it's just a very similar problem that this one is having, in my opinion. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, we're getting, we're getting real close, but we're not quite there yet. Ah, oh, I hit jump and it didn't, it didn't jump. It didn't jump the jump. <sighs> Dang it. <sighs> yeah, the rule is if it's a TNT, you have to shoot it. If it's a regular block, you have to jump over it. And I'm not quite sure why jumping doesn't work in both cases. I guess the regular block is shorter, maybe? I don't know, it's weird. Unnecessary, it's just so much. Okay, okay, that part's done now. Hopefully, I can survive the rest. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, where, where are the other ones? Where have I not been yet? So I'd taken all the different tracks. Um, oh, there's one there. Hang on. How do you get to there? Oh, right. I remember. Shoot that. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. It's over. Great work, Spyro. Now I can start fixing my machines. Here. I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore. Wait, you weren't going to reward me except that you ran out of room in your toolbox? You made me just do that for nothing? Ugh. Oh. Oh, I thought I could maybe go up there and just, just, just get some treasure without having to go through there again, but... No. Um... Alright, well I guess I'm up done. I'm done there. I'll just go look around for some more treasure. I think there's another orb, too. Hopefully it's not as annoying as that one, because that was really terrible. I if I can shoot those TNT boxes. I think I can aim high enough. No, I can shoot them, they're just immune to explosions, even though they're TNT boxes. Alright. Uh, gotta find the rest of the treasure, rest of the treasure for me. Those annoying cogs are sparkling everywhere, and that's not very helpful because those are not treasure. I think, yeah, I want to backtrack this sort of direction. I'm pretty sure I already got everything that's underwater, but I do want to climb back up here and take a look around. Hang on, can I just like. Yeah, I can probably just fly around that gap there, if I just do it right. Yeah, totally. I can totally do that. There we go. Okay. Where is there still missing treasure? That direction, huh, Sparks? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, I broke this one before and the gems all fell down. Okay, so I have all of those gems now. 100% uh, level complete, yeah! Okay, so I did have the orbs already. Awesome, okay. So yeah, that second orb quest wasn't great, um, but I did it. Um, and I got all the treasure as well, so... There you have it! <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I'm just, I don't understand a lot of these decisions when making the, the all minigame challenges. Especially the way a lot of them are, you know, do it perfect. Don't make any mistakes at all, you don't get the orb. I, I suppose the orbs are supposed to be an optional objective, so they're allowed to be a bit harder than the base get the talisman, but... Uh, I don't think they're harder in a fun way. If that makes sense. Which it should, because it was a pretty reasonable thing to say. Uh, anyway. Jump on the slingshot thingy. Woohoo! Yeah, and yeah, you can still get over here because the slingshot thing gives you extra height. Okay, so we're done here now. Um, so let's head to the exit, which is over here. Um, hopefully I didn't just fuel the military industrial complex. I feel like I might have done. God damn. Okay, well I destroyed their flag, so we should be okay. <laughs> That's all it takes. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Oh dear. I feel bad. Oh, in any case, that was Breeze Harbor, which is now 100% complete. Go us. Uh, we're going to arrive back in the home world shortly, and that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, next time, I think there was another level out here in the first bit of Autumn Plains, so we'll go there next. Um, if we just come back to the hub world here. There we go. Oh, I believe... Yeah, up there there's another one. Zephyr. Oh no, that's the one I just sent an army after. I'm going to go there and protect them, because... Yeah, I feel bad. Okay, next video we're going to Zephyr and defending against the military-industrial complex that I accidentally helped support over here in Breeze Harbor. Um, hopefully we can prevent the war from escalating. Um, hopefully we can get to a peaceful resolution for everyone. I, d I don't know what to expect. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, bye!